Hi guys, this is a video on how to change your serpentine belt on a BMW. You don't need to remove this air box, but it will make things a lot easier. The first thing I'm doing here is removing this sensor carefully, setting it aside. And then we're going to work on removing this hose clamp with a regular screwdriver or a small socket. You don't need to take it off completely, just loosen it enough. Next, we're gonna use a socket to remove this structural bar here. The front and back are different sizes. I'm sorry I didn't write down the exact size, but it's pretty easy. You can leave the rear one on and remove the front and rotate the entire bar out of the way. Next, we're gonna remove the air box using the Torx T20, I believe here. You can use power tools or I just used a hand tool to remove the T20. There is a cable that's attached over here so you can use one of these automotive pry bar um, trim clip removal tools to pop it out of place. Next, we'll take apart the air box here there's two, three, four metal clips. Those pop off and then the entire air box will separate. And that should be the clean side and you wanna set that apart on, on top of the engine there is fine. And then make sure you cover your air intake with a bag because you don't want any debris entering your engine here. Use whatever you have available to pry out your air filter. You'll see here my air filter is very dirty full of leaves so we're going to replace it with a new air filter at this time. Now there's one more big rubber boot here that you need to pop the air box, air box off of and once that's been loosened the entire air box will slide out of position. This is what we're trying to get to here. And now we'll have a lot more access room. This belt is very small here. On the left side is the crankshaft. On the top is the tensioner. On the very top is your alternator. And on the right side is your AC compressor. We need to use a socket and a drive to push down and clockwise on that nut on the front of the tensioner. That will reduce the tension on the entire belt system and allow you to slide everything off. Once you have your old belt off, I would compare and contrast it to the new belt and make sure the size and the numbers and parts all match up. And then I would start by installing the new belt onto the crankshaft first and make sure all the grooves fit nicely. And then I would string the belt behind the tensioner there up and over the alternator and I would leave the AC compressor last at least that's what worked well for me as far as reaching so then you'll push down on your tensioner again clockwise and that will give you enough room to stretch the belt over the AC compressor okay now it's time to put everything back together so first part of your air box this is the dirty side That'll slide into place on the front of that cold air intake and the big rubber um, will pop into place on the rear. Just press down firmly and it'll click into place. Right here. Then we need to install our T20 Torx bolt on the right side of the air box here. Fasten that thing up. Then we'll install a new air filter, or if yours is already clean, you can go ahead and put your old one back in. Now we're ready to take the bag off our air intake that we put on to reduce any chance of contamination getting in there. Make sure it's nice and clean. Don't forget to put the hose clamp back on. And then we're going to be ready to put the clean side of the air box into place. 
On the bottom of that air box, there are some grooves and you wanna push it into place and it kinda of catches and then it swings on the top side to clip into place. So there is a particular way of fitting the bottom of that air box in. Once it's fitting nicely and firmly pressing down, you'll be able to easily clip the metal latches into place. If it's not clipping easy, start over, try again. Okay, we'll reattach the hose clamp here. Do not over tighten. Um, it could crush that plastic there, so you don't want this overly tightened. Then we'll reattach our uh, sensor here to the wire harness. All right, with that firmly in place, we're ready to put this support bar back in. So tighten that down fully. There may be torque specs on that. If there is, I'll put them in the description below. And I would do a quick look over on everything. Start up your engine and listen for any weird sounds and make sure the belt is riding on there in a center location. It's not wobbling and it should be good to go. All right, that's the end of this video. If you found this useful, please give us a like and a subscribe, and especially if you wanna be notified of future videos like this, and we'll see you in the next one.